Well, good morning, fellow Rotarians, and welcome back to the DG video of the month. Today is the beginning of Economic and Community Development Month. I am going to take you to the north part of our district, to Red Deer, where we will hear what is happening with our Rotary Employment Partnership Program with Inclusion Alberta. I would like to welcome Trina Steed from Inclusion Alberta, who is going to share a little bit about the program and how it works with Rotary. Good morning, everyone. My name is Trina Steed and I'm Director of Employment Partnerships with Inclusion Alberta. I'm here to talk to you today about the Rotary Employment Partnership and uh, its inception. So it began in 2001 in Edmonton and it later expanded across the province to Lloydminster, Red Deer, Grand Prairie and Calgary. Since inception, the partnership has created nearly 600 jobs as a result of many dedicated Rotarians, municipalities and the business community, providing meaningful employment to people with developmental disabilities. Rotary coordinators and volunteer Rotarians continue to actively work within their Rotary clubs and the business community to promote the Rotary Employment Partnership. Rotarians network within the members of their clubs, as well as their broader networks to create employment opportunities for individuals with developmental disabilities. I would like to share a video with you to exemplify the great work Rotarians are doing to create meaningful employment for people with developmental disabilities. This video tells Eric Madsen's story of being an inclusive employer who hired through the Rotary Employment Partnership in Red Deer. Hi, I'm Eric Madsen, president of Prime Boiler Services, serving in this position for just over two years and have been with Prime for nearly 12. I am a family man, married for 13 years and have two children, both daughters. My passion is leadership and business, or better yet, leadership in business. My personal mission statement is, I am a powerful and loyal leader who empowers and develops others to be the best they can be. As a Rotarian for the past seven years, I have been serving on the Rotary Employment Partnership Committee. At Prime, we have been an inclusive employer for nearly six years, and over that period, we have employed three remarkable individuals. From a hiring perspective, it was impressive how much support we received from Inclusion Alberta. Working with Inclusion Alberta was very easy. They were there to support our company and the employee from start to finish, and continue to support us today. I would not hesitate to suggest to other businesses to open their doors, hearts, and minds to this employment partnership and support a more inclusive hiring practice. Together, we can. I'd now like to introduce Deborah Gallant, who is the Rotary Employment Partnership Coordinator in Red Deer. Deborah? Um, so I just wanted to add that out of the almost 600 jobs that have been created across the province through partnerships with Rotary and the Rotary Employment Partnership, about just over 60 of those jobs were created in Red Deer. We are currently supporting um, eight people who have found meaningful employment through the partnership. And uh, some of those employers are, are Stantec, uh, Red Deer College, Costco, um, and we have amazing um, relationships with them. Um, Inclusion Alberta is actually very, very strong on relationship building. And so that's sort of, I think, sort of the precursor of the success that we're having. I wanted to also add that approximately 80% of people with disabilities are unemployed or underemployed in the province. And that's a, a startling statistic for that demographic of of people. So we're very grateful for the three clubs in Red Deer, the Rotary Clubs in Red Deer, who are, are partnering with us. Uh, we're building um, every, every month a stronger uh, steering committee. So we're working towards some good things um, in the future with Rotary and uh, the partnership. A very important economic builder here in Red Deer and in Calgary with hopes of expansion. If you are interested in finding out more about this program, give Inclusion Alberta a call. Community development happens here at home and in other communities across the globe. With COVID-19, we can't travel. So I'm taking you now to the community of Olds where some pretty amazing work is happening to enrich their community. With me today is Peter Premichuk, past president of the Rotary Club of Olds. Peter, can you tell me a little bit about how this project came to be? Well, you know, Mary, I, I travel to very many towns throughout the year. And I noticed that a lot of these towns have a lot of the Rotary brand and, and a lot of projects in there, you know, be it playgrounds and things like that. And in Olds, we were still a, young, a fairly young club at the time. And we had a presentation by the town of Olds, our representative who came and they were looking for a million dollars in donations for various naming rights of a brand new athletic park that they were doing. 
you know, and I felt at the time our club needed a legacy project and it would also help out the town substantially if, if we donated the money. So we negotiated a $500,000 donation payable over five years for perpetual naming rights for this park. That's a huge task for a, a community and a huge task for a Rotary Club of only 25 members. What did the club think of the idea? Well, you know, you know, I wouldn't lie. Some were, were apprehensive because it was a large amount of money. Um, some felt the ask for just naming rights seemed to be high. But we went through and we conducted surveys on SurveyMonkey and we worked on budgets and we had a very good discussion at our AGM when we were in the year that we were making that decision, you know, and I have to really give credit to the, my board of directors at the time for the credit and courage and foresight really to pass the motion to commit the funds. And, you know, I think all members, uh, once we made the commitment, uh, they all jumped on board. And, and what did the community think of the idea of, of Rotary taking on this role? Well, you know, it was, it, it, to me, it was really interesting because our donation brought great awareness to the community of the park to begin with, because obviously they announced our donation and things like that. And you know, our, our fundraising continued to be successful in some very trying times, you know, in, in Alberta economically. So the community was aware of it. And so we received great support in both donations and just overall goodwill. So that was really impressive. And you know, the Rotary Athletic Park of Olds, every time they mention the park and how well it's being developed and that the Rotary name keeps popping up. And you know, it was a much needed facility in our community. And it's for our community and the surrounding area. So, you know, there was soccer practices were being held in the unused part of the local cemetery, you know, cause it was nice grass and things like that. So our donation was really important to get the, the park going and the town was going to, if the town raised a million, you know, outside of their funds, the county was going to match a million dollars. So I have to believe our 500,000 helped them raise a million and basically almost turned into a million dollars. Yeah, that's, that's pretty incredible to think about a, a club of only 25 members committing to raising $500,000 in just five years time. Uh, that, that's pretty concerning. Were you worried about how that was going to be achieved? Well, yeah, I was a little bit, but you know, we had, we had done a lot of work on how we would achieve it. We were, we raised almost a hundred thousand dollars a year as a club through some of our fundraising. So, so we felt at that time, you know, if, if we could get some additional funding, it wouldn't take much for us to reach that half a million over five years. You know, I had also attended the grant seminar that Rotary puts on and had a really good feeling about that funding. And, and we had worked with other clubs when they had done projects and donated money and a lot of them jumped on board. So that was very, very beneficial for us. That sounds amazing, Peter. I know there's lots of clubs in our district that are looking for signature projects. So what kind of advice would you give Rotarians and other clubs that are looking to take on a project like this? Well, I would uh, say to them, don't underestimate the power of Rotary because it's just amazing. You know, as I said, many other clubs have jumped in and donated and helped us. I'd also say don't underestimate the power of Dan Doherty and his club and some of the clubs in Calgary because we had the district conference here and they raised some money for us, a substantial donation. And we got some town grants also because of that. So just that, that power of Rotary just keeps rolling and rolling. And I was really surprised. We also, um, through other connections at, at Mary yourself, we, we've got some government grants. And you know, before we knew it, we had 375,000 in under three years. It's just amazing. Power of Rotary, uh, district conferences, all that kind of stuff makes a huge difference when you want to do a, a, any project, I would say, and especially a large legacy one. Wow, that's, that's just amazing, Peter, and I, I really appreciate you sharing all of the success stories that you've had with this signature project here in Olds, and I really hope that other Rotarians across our district will not hesitate to reach out to you to, to hear about your stories and to take your successes into their communities as well. Rotarians truly are people of action, so let's get the ball rolling. And the first step is for your club to attend the grant seminar, which has been mentioned earlier. So mark your calendar for October the 17th and register on the district website. This is one of the qualifying requirements for your club to write a district or global grant. On October 21st, we will hold our monthly district webinar focusing on fundraising. This is an important platform introduction opportunity not to miss. 
Today, more than ever, we need to look at different ways of fundraising, and I am confident that this session will be well received and open more ways for your club to be successful in their fundraising efforts. Economic and community development is Rotary International's area of focus, challenging Rotarians to take action, make lasting change, both locally and globally. So if you are in the Red Deer or Calgary area, consider if your business or your neighbor's business could join the Rotary Employment P Partnership, enabling disabled adults an opportunity for employment and an opportunity to give back to our community, which is so important. So register now for the grants workshop on October 17th through our district website. Your club, again, must be eligible with one member to attend this workshop. Then register for the fundraising webinar on October 21st and together these will open opportunities for your club to be more successful in the future. Enjoy the good weather, keep cycling for our district polio challenge, send in your kilometers and your donations. Stay safe and stay in touch.